Hi, if you don't know who I am, my name is Liam and I'm here to distract you from life. And today we're going to be talking about RuPaul's Drag Race episode 7, 9120-ho? 91021-ho. 90210-ho. We got there eventually. Did we even get there eventually? So first off the bat, with Cynthia going home last week, I am with Trinity. Enjoy. I love her, but bye, bitch. Not with Trinity on everything, but yeah. So over the last couple uh, untucks and episodes, we've been seeing Valentina get like a little bit more, a little bitchier, like not bit, not bit, sassier maybe. And I gotta say, I'm kind of, I'm living for it. It's kind of me, 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 me. It's kind of hot actually. <laughs> I've noticed that Shay is quickly turning into a, like a Bob figure because around season eight last year, it, it very quickly became the Bob show. I don't know why I did this, but it became Became the Bob Show, and I didn't. I didn't hate that it was the Bob Show by any means. But uh, I'm really no noticing that with uh, Shay now as well, because it's just kind of like you are owning this so well. I did not realize that Farrah was born in '93. <laughs> You were born in 93. She is younger than me, and I don't feel comfortable with that. I'm gonna f you up. I think being picked to be the group leader of any of these challenges is such a big spooky job for anyone to do. And w when this happened to Alexis in one of the other episodes where she had to pick the teams, I was not, I would not be good in that situation. And what Peppermint did in this episode as well with by asking people what they wanted to do and then giving them their roles is exactly what I would have done. Now, here's the thing. So, you know how Aja had like her little tantrum in this episode? She was the only one out of the whole group that said, you know what, I like all of them, but, which would give a group leader like Peppermint the opportunity to go, okay, well, all of these other people have said very specific people. So because you seem to like all of them, I can't give you what you wanted, but you like them all. So I'll give you this. You know what I mean? And then for him to blow up in that way. Can I go on a smoke break? Honey, take several seats. And I think Aja has taught us a very useful life lesson and I think Peppermint put it very well. So now you look like a bitch playing a bitch in the last scene. Uh-huh. And this is, just, for all the people who usually watch this, you know what this is all about. I'm going to be telling you to be making a very particular thumb blue now. It's right down there. No, it's right down there. It, where the thumbs up button is, which is there. Yes, which is, can you make it blue for me, please? Thank you so much. God love Farrah. I really enjoy her being there. I still don't think she's gonna be around for much longer and I'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later, but I just love these little moments. Is that a word? She's so innocent. During the actual challenge and while they were practicing, I, in my mind, I thought Shay was killing it the whole time. She was stealing the show. The every, all eyes were on her. And Nina, when she came in and Nina in this episode just has not been ceasing to not annoy me. I feeling very weird today. I just, I, she is getting so too much. She's getting too much for me. And, I, I know I just talked about Farrah just a little bit, but she still just can't seem to get it together. I think Farrah was doing well in this challenge because she was basically playing Farrah as a character. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like she, I, God love her. But if she was playing any other role than the ditzy blonde, it would have been a problem. All, all I'll say is this. If Nina and Aja didn't do so terribly, I feel like tonight would have been Farrah's night. So Valentina is still killing it in my personal opinion, but she's still killing killing it to the same consistent level, you know what I mean? Like Alexis, Shay, and Trinity are killing it as well, but they're kind of like they're accelerating and Valentina's killing it at the same level. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I'm really, like she's in some episodes, she's kind of faded a little bit in the background, but she's still been like in the middle, but the other three are kind of like rising above that. And it's, it's making me a little worried. But I still think Valentina will be top three, but I'm I'm thinking maybe she could be in trouble, possibly. Just everything in this performance that Aja did was just awkward. It was just too much. It was the, oh, the graduation? Yeah. This season has had such emotional makeup sections. I mean, usually in, in the season, makeup is time when we really get to know the contestants, but this season has been a little bit heavier than normal. I don't know if that's just me, but Sasha's uh, story was such an, oh, moment for me because I was like oh I love when things like that happen in TV shows or in any kind of media really where you kind of look at something and you go oh that's why that's 
that that's why you do that. I never asked myself why you did that. I just I just accepted it and, and, and now there's this huge reason why. Thank you for that. So with the runways, I loved Valentina's outfit, but it was mainly what I loved about her outfit was mainly neck up. I loved the cute hair and the flowers and everything that was going on. It was only until we saw her later and we saw the gloves that I kind of went, wow, this is that's a lot better than I thought it was. But my initial reaction to it was that isn't like an amazing, it's very, it's great. It's just great. It's just green silk. I wasn't too blown away by the outfit, but every, I thought it was, I thought it was wonderful. But that's what I mean by it's the same consistent, it's not, whoa, you know what I mean? <laughs> like Trinity, I saw Trinity not on the runway and I was thinking, I am so surprised you're still here. But at the same time, you're so good. And I don't know why I'm surprised she's still there. I think originally I thought she was going to be someone who was going to go home quite soon and I don't know why I thought that so every time I see Trinity on the runway still I just think oh yeah you're really good huh why did I doubt you <laughs> peppermint's look tonight was hot as I'm gonna have to bing that but I mean it was amazing it was she was oh she was everything <laughs> when we cut to Nina and we uh we saw just emptiness I my initial reaction for those like five seconds of seeing nothing was what drama has happened backstage what's going on what's oh, and then she was just crawling on the ground like a cat which I was happy with of course but I just Nina is rubbing me the wrong way a little bit and on this runway Shay looked amazing I mean like Michelle said about if you come out with like a swimsuit and a jacket I'm gonna you to feel for it but the face and the hair and it was a whole character i am so team shay right now it is embarrassing initially when alexis came out on the runway i thought oh this is a thing this is a look it was only until she said that it was ursula inspired that i went oh that's cool but until then i just i i was just very underwhelmed by a lot but I thought it was, it was Ursula. So Aja looked incredible. This is the best Aja has looked throughout the entire competition. I actually thought that this runway might have saved her from being in the bottom two. I mean, no, no, Liam, that's not what you thought. It, nothing could have saved her, but it was amazing. You've got to give it to her. That looked, that dress and the uh, the makeup, we could see her face. We could, we could see Aja's face. In this challenge, Trinity was cast amazingly. She really was, was that role and she made it her own. She just fit that. She did really well. And I mean, I understand why uh, she won. I really do. But in my mind, I don't know, maybe I'm just completely narrowly minded minded straight to Shay at the moment, but the whole time I was thinking, oh, Shay's gonna win this. Outfit's great, performance was amazing. I, I just, I was so ready for her to win. I honestly really did not think Trinity was gonna win this one, but well, shut me up and sit me down, because I was wrong. Oh, I obviously, I was wrong. <laughs> so when one of the judges said to Valentina, you're perfect, I just had flashbacks and that song, the role justice. You're perfect. You're perfect. You're beautiful. You look like Linda Evangelista. You're a mom. Rang in my head and I loved it. That was all I wanted to say about that. I haven't seen the Untucked yet, but I really hope Aja says something about that. So the lip sync between Aja and Nina was not amazing. In my personal opinion, I, I think a lot of the lip syncs this season have been great. They've been really awesome. Well, actually probably only like three or two out of the seven, so maybe not all of them. But this one was so, uh, it was one of those ones where if it if it was just a little bit lower energy, I kind of feel like RuPaul might have sent them both home. Do you know what I mean? But I have to say, so I watch, when I do these videos, I watch the episode twice. I watch it once just to have fun. And then I watch it a second time to, uh, to write notes. And the first time I watched it, I thought, oh, I just got this in the bag. You know what I mean? I, do, I was just watching her and I was thinking, yeah, she's like, totally got this. And I looked over at Nina. I was like, Nina's doing Nina. I just bring it more, but not really that more. So I guess I'll just staying and Nina's finally going home. And during that performance, I was just thinking, you know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with Nina to go. I'm ready for this to happen. Okay. Well, all right. Well, this is, this is what's going on. And then Aja went home. You could have dropped me on the floor and left me there for days. I was so shocked. And then when I watched it the second time round, I was like, okay, well this time I'm going to watch Nina more um, because usually sometimes you can see with the editing who's going to stay and who's going to leave like they'll keep it more on one person but this editing was more we saw all of them for a lot of the time so I focused in on Nina a bit and she was doing like a lot more facial acting than Aja was and she was doing a lot more fun movements and I, I could then understand so after I watched both of them I was like oh okay so it really
really could be either of them in this situation. But to begin with, I was shocked. And I don't know, I guess, I guess that's just what it is. I have to say, my top three now, I think who, I, I really think Shay's gonna win this. I think she's got it in the bag. I think it's, as I said before, like it was the Bob show before. I think this has quickly turned into the Shay show, which is a great way of saying that. <laughs> but I think, I think it is turning into the Shay show. I think Valentina will be top three. And I also think Alexis is gonna be there as well. I don't think Sasha's gonna be there anymore. I think she's probably, you know what? I think Sasha's probably going to get Miss Congenial or Nina will get Miss Congeniality. Yeah, that's a possibility. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I'm very conflicted. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video and you are new to this channel, uh, there's this little teeny tiny button that's just below. It's just like right here. Wait, is it there? Yeah, it's, mm. There's a little subscribe button just below this video. It's a little tiny rectangle and it's red and it says the word subscribe. If you hit that button, you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. Isn't that amazing? On this channel, I generally make review videos on RuPaul's Drag Race until obviously that season ends. And I also make review videos of all different kind of media that happens around the worldies and I attempt to distract you from life by doing other stupid fun little things that come to my mind. For example, on Wednesday coming up this week, I am going to be reacting to a ASMR video that I found online where someone is pretending to be your boyfriend and the funniest thing in that whole situation is that I was Googling that at 1 a.m. Is that funny or just sad? You be the judge of that. Anyway, that's coming up on Wednesday, so if you want to see that, hit subscribe. So thank guys, th thank guys, thank thanks guys. Oh, also look, I did something new with my makeup. Isn't that cool? Does it look really bad? I can't like tell when I'm here now, but is it like blended or is it really bad? Yeah? Okay, well, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on Wednesday or Saturday, depending on what kind of person you are. But well, that makes you sound like a bad person. Depending on what media you choose to watch. Okay, bye. <laughs>